It would be really awesome if this little gecko ran up Steven's pants. Do it. That would be fun. That would be really fun, yeah. Here. Here I'll tell you, that's what the little last one I found out here, that's what it did, ran up my shoe. Oh, I wasn't even recording, that's how smart I am. It's the genius of the Cusco Sharp recording. like a crab. Ryan, that's what it really Oh, is. no, you're good. We needed to be too bad for Ryan. Suck it in. That'll look hot. Oh, yeah, suck it in, bro. Uh, suck it in. Don't <laughs> hold my breath so long, the f up. Uh. Top of the morning, friends and family. Welcome to. I don't know what day we're gonna upload this video, so I can't do any alliteration today. But we got Mr. McRyan McVeigh over from Zilla. <laughs> yep. McRyan McVeigh. McRyan. <laughs> I'm gonna put a link down in the description for Zilla stuff. If you haven't checked out Zilla stuff, well, you can thank this man for how awesome Zilla stuff is. I mean, it's all right. Or not. <laughs> you got Mr. Stephen Cush. What's up? Forever riding in the back seat for the rest of his life. Always. Always, always back seat, Mr. Stephen Cush. We're also, meet, uh, we got Nick Mutton in the car in front of us, Mr. Forrest Fanning. It's Herpeton, the first night of Herpeton, so we figured, you know what? What better thing to do than go herping? And, and Ryan is a herping master. I've done it a few times. He's done it a couple times, yeah. and I'm, I've got high expectations for what we're gonna find while we're out here, so Ryan, don't let us down. Dude, it's gonna be an awesome night, and we're gonna grab some really awesome people from uh, San Diego University that are herpetology students. So they're, uh, we, we, we get, get to hear about all the cool research they're doing and all the other just, just rad stuff that they're doing. Student at uh, SDSU, I study sidewinders and diversification of sidewinders. Awesome. And he also just took shotguns, so now I get to feel like what Steven feels like all the time. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> this is like the low life right here. You're living it, dude. So basically, we're rolling down the road, looking for snakes and whatever else we can possibly find, and then if we find something cool, we'll show you. Are you a Katie did or a Katie didn't? Oh, dude, look at that antenna. Can't tell you exactly where we're at, not because I'm unwilling to, but I just, I, I don't know where we are. That thing's freaking sweet. This is a rad one, man. Usually we see the real long skinny so type. Big. Wonder if that's a gravid female. So this is a stick insect. Uh, family? Phasmid. Phasmid family, order. yeah. The order. Cool. But you look at their faces, they're just a rad little bug. Looks straight out of Men in Black. Right? There you go. Look how they walk with their tail up. We had Forrest and Nick and Brandon with us, but they they got lost in another car listening to comedy podcasts. But none of that probably would have compared to Ryan telling us how to identify rattlesnakes by looking at their buttholes, right? Yeah, it was an right. enlightening conversation. <laughs> You're welcome. Fuck, oh, goddamn time! What's with all the crazy different lights going on? That's my fuck. Why are you acting like you're a gopher snake? Like the front of their face, that's why they're called leaf nose.
found a leaf nose and if that's all I've, we find as far as snakes, well, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. We're happy. So it's the next morning. Ryan's still back there sleeping, so I'm trying to be respectful and be quiet of his rest, you know. Anyway, that was pretty awesome. We saw lots and lots of really cool things out there in the desert. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've gotten about three hours of sleep, and it's time to go downstairs and get ready for her baton and get everything set up, the camera set up. Luckily, I'm just filming today, so there will be no point today at which I have to speak at a camera, so that's a good thing. One thing I'm really realizing already is that, and I, I already knew this, but as I'm sur be, or surrounded by these guys that have spent their lives dedicated to herpetology and the study of all these animals and, and things of that nature, I, I realize how very little scientific names I know of species and just how I'm basically just the guy who just really thinks snakes are cool and I have fun with cameras. That's and and that's I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think. But that's just, I'm really realizing it even more than I already knew it, being surrounded with all these folks. So, I'm really looking forward to all of the information I'm going to be able to soak up. Super excited about it. All right, now for you guys, I know that was just a couple quick clips, but that was literally the longest I've ever filmed nonstop. Guess I ate a little lunch, but I've never filmed that long and just like going back to back, speaker back to back to back, making sure the lab mics are switched out, making sure the audio is good on, making sure both cameras are set in the right spot, making sure they didn't stop recording and going, 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 going. Not to mention that last night I only got three hours of sleep and obviously I had enough energy to power through, but whoo. Okay, so I, I couldn't help but feel like at points during the conference that I was way out of my league. Not just that I feel that I, I am out of my league here with a lot of these guys that are talking. And it, it started to feel not, not depressed, definitely not depressed, I mean, but just definitely feeling like, like, man, look at all this work these guys have done, what they've contributed to the hobby and in such detail and scientificness and all this stuff and I just started to feel kind of like I'm just you know, just more and more out of my league than I already kind of knew I was. I'm just do with the camera. And that's okay, you know, I'm, I'm fine being able to do with the camera. I, I, I have fun with it, I enjoy it. But then there was this guy that came on, Evgeny Rybaltovsky. He was a 
keeper from Russia that was invited to come talk, but he couldn't make it because he couldn't get his visa together in time with complications with Russia and U.S. right now or whatever. Um, but he couldn't make it, but he did make a video for us to watch, about a half-hour video. And in his talk, one of his main points was, this is a guy that works with lots of different species of frogs and, and whatnot, and, but one of his main points about his video was the importance of not just keeping animals, but sharing it with kids and making videos about it and sharing that with the world via social media platforms. That really kind of lifted my spirits back. I was like, I was like, I'm kind of doing that for the most part. Like, so, yeah, so I felt, um, I felt good about that. I kind of wish he was there in person so I could tell him how that kind of made me feel. But uh, I understand that if everything goes well this year, then he's gonna make it next year. So I'm gonna edit a vlog for you guys right now and then I'm gonna go to sleep. Not necessarily in that order. Oh, 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 one more thing. Music Monday, at least how we've known it on this channel for the past year or so, might not be happening anymore. I don't know details yet, but as soon as I figure them out, I will, I will let you guys know. Obviously, we're still going to include music as much as we can in whatever way we can, but just uh, I got to figure some things out. But we'll talk about it soon, okay? Thanks. Hope you guys have a great day. So the question for Brian is, do you have any comments on going forward with any social media on YouTube or... No well, pressure. I didn't, of, the camera's of, not on you. One of the goals is definitely to take a lot of the talks that happen here today and spread them out there. And, and a lot of good points have been made here. And I've, I've been inspired just to be. I feel very uh, <laughs> out of my league in this room. I, I felt that even before I came here. I, that Maybe it's not true, but it, it's, it's how I feel. I feel like I've, as a kid that kept snakes from a little kid, even to now, like I, I haven't touched on herpetology like anywhere close to anybody in this room. So. Uh, but I do really enjoy it, and I would like to see the success of it globally and people coming together and spreading the love for it and seeing kids grow up. And it, it's happening. It is happening. And just focusing on the positive things that are happening and helping them continue to grow in a positive direction. And I think this is a good, uh, a good start to helping spread all that around. I don't know why I feel like I'm going to cry right now. but. <laughs> <laughs> Public, public speaking was never my forte. Uh, P.S. As far as all the video from the talks and whatnot goes, I'm going to have to talk with Philippe and Alan about what's going to happen with the videos. Some stuff I know they're going to release publicly pretty soon, but um, as far as the talks, uh, I'll keep you guys posted as far as what's going on with that too. But as for right now, I don't know that I can share them yet. Mm -hmm.